Barack Obama, community organizer. What did ACORN in Chicago engage in? Bullying banks, intimidation tactics, disruption of business. ACORN forced banks to issue risky home loans, the same types of loans that caused the financial crisis we're in today. Barack Obama, community organizer. After college, he moved to Chicago. There, Obama met Madeleine Talbot, part of the Chicago branch of ACORN. He was so impressive that he was asked to train the ACORN staff. What did ACORN in Chicago engage in? Bullying banks, intimidation tactics, disruption of business. ACORN forced banks to issue risky home loans, the same types of loans that caused the financial crisis we're in today. No wonder Obama's campaign is trying to distance him from the group, saying Barack Obama never organized with ACORN. But Obama's ties to ACORN run long and deep. He taught classes for ACORN. They even endorsed him for president. But now, ACORN is in trouble. There are at least 11 investigations across the country involving thousands of potentially fraudulent ACORN forms. Massive voter fraud. And the Obama campaign paid more than $800,000 to an ACORN front for get-out-the-vote efforts, pressuring banks to issue risky loans nationwide voter fraud. Barack Obama, bad judgment, blind ambition. Too risky for America. An acorn doesn't fall far from the tree. During the transition, we're going to be calling all of you in to help us shape the agenda. We're going to be having meetings all across the country with community organizations so that you have input into the agenda for the next presidency of the United States of America. New evidence tonight that the so-called community uh, left-wing activist group ACORN is involved in widespread voter registration fraud. In point of fact, ACORN is a left-wing special interest group that's been under investigation for literally years in various parts of the country for voter fraud and embezzlement.